with Pocket 3D, not just actually doing grade checks, but you can store and stake points. If I hit survey and go to measure points, the one mostly used is gonna to be topo shot. Other advantages is topo shot with offset, but to start out with topo shot, it's gonna ask you what number do you wanna call it? What layer do you wanna put it on? My recommendation is always create a new layer for whatever day you're shooting. So that way, when it comes to the point where you need to export points, it's a lot easier to select the layer of points you want to select instead of sifting through 5,000 points and finding which 12 you want to use. So this is where uh, layer manipulation definitely and layer management comes in handy. If I know what layer I've put all of my points on, it makes it that much quicker at the end of the day to export it and I'm not scratching my head figuring out which ones I need. So I can create a layer and then if I want to, I can tell it to also show the point number on this layer, show the point descriptions on this layer and elevations. And I can change the symbol as well as the color. So if I want all my points to be red, change the color to red. If I don't want them to be dots, I want them to be X's, I can change them to X. From this moment forward, anytime I actually shoot a point with this layer selected, it's gonna store that point and put a red X on my map. Now if I zoom in to my point, if I move away, you can actually see the red X that was left. It also tells you the number of that point. I didn't have a description, so it's blank, but it shows the elevation of that point as well. I can also go back and turn those off by going to layers, finding that specific layer, editing and switching it to whatever I want to show. If I don't need a description and elevation, I can turn that off. And now I just show my point number. Another advantage is topo shot with offset. Most times topo shot with offset is used for inverts and pipe work. So if you have a rim elevation, but you want to measure the invert of that pipe, what people will use is offset. So they'll go shoot the center of that manhole, but then they'll go over here to offset and then they'll come out and pull a tape and realize below or above that point, in this case below, the invert is eight feet below. What it's going to do is it's going to store a point at the center of that manhole, but it's also going to adjust the elevation nine feet lower. That way to add that point and say, hey, the invert for this pipe was this low or below and store that 3D point. Staking points is different. So what it's, where measure points will add points to a project, stakeout is to go find stuff in that model and put it out on the ground. So inside stakeout mode, instead of doing surface check, I can now go to stakeout and go to point list and I can go find a point that I wanna go stake out. For this instance, you need to figure out what layer that point you're staking out is on. So we'll go use the first one that we created and shows up the list of points on that layer. So if I wanna go stake out that first point I shot, I can select it and hit okay. What it's gonna do is it's gonna tell me from where I am, how far to go at what direction, or what I like to set this up is hold my finger down there and go to show text and switch this to Delta East and Delta North. The reason being, if I know where True North is on the project, Delta East and Delta North makes it a lot simpler for me to find the point. So now I know if I'm facing North, I need to go back a foot and a half and go to the left two and a half feet and I'll be right on that point. So if I picked up my rover and got closer, it's gonna show me as close as I possibly can. It'll also add your cut fill.